Yes. <laughs> You're on candid camera. You know what? That Bradley, that is just. Tiers of athletes 
compelled, and committed. And those are the two most important tiers. All right, Brad Dixon. Running with Sydney, I got to run with Sydney this year in cross country, and uh, I always feel like my little steps are like this. <laughs> Sydney's are like this. <laughs> <laughs> so Sydney, I had a lot of fun um, getting to run with you this year in cross country. Glad you came out. And then for Tierra, uh, focus, dedication is probably, I know that's two words. Um, I've never had an athlete who seems so focused about coming out and just getting the job done. And really, these words describe all of these ladies. But, um, and there's so many other things that I could say. Um, it's been a pleasure working with you. I wish you the best of luck. Um, your determination, your grace, your dedication um, is going to take you far, not only in your sport, but in your life. So thank you, ladies, and congratulations. Sydney just for a few years, and uh, really most of these kids just a few years, um, but Sydney was uh, probably the one that made the most impact in our group over the last couple of years, and uh, she certainly has the talent of a collegiate athlete, and uh, uh, she's been graced with a, a great ability, uh, and uh, I look forward very much to uh, watching her um, uh, put that uh, good ability to use over the next four years, and so I expect you good results and hopefully a great experience down at FIU uh, for a uh, for city career. I've been here for less than a year, but in that short amount of time, uh, Marshall Trail is exactly as advertised with quality athletes that work hard every day. Uh, and so it's a pleasure to be out there and watch them compete. So thank you. Now it's their time. Bradley, your first step. <laughs> All right. Um, I want to first thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming out. Uh, it means a lot. Family and friends. Um, I know it might sound a little cliche, but I want to thank God. Um, he definitely, definitely opened up a door that I didn't know was going to be open four years ago. Um, and uh, he's introduced me to a bunch of Bunch of good guys. <laughs> bunch of bunch of good guys and great group of people to work with and uh, surround myself with for the last four years. Um, I want to thank my I want to thank my mom. Uh, I love you, baby. She gives me a lot of respect and support that I don't really deserve most of the time. Uh, she always asking how my legs are feeling, and um, just feels good to 
know that you got my, you have my back. Um, there was a time freshman year where I I uh, got in the car after practice one day and I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna do this anymore. <laughs> and uh, she she said, uh, you just keep good just stay out the rest of the season, see how it goes. And um, I ended up falling in love with it. So I'm, I'm probably gonna be standing up here if we didn't have that conversation. Um, and um, like I said, she's convinced me to stick it out and uh, finish it off strong. So I want to thank you for that. You're welcome, baby. I love you. Um, I want to thank my dad. Uh, he's um, my my freshman year. I didn't make the baseball team, so I said I'm finished with baseball. And he said uh, just stick it out. And um, I didn't really like it, so he said whatever you do, whether it be school or running, um, go at it with 110 percent. So. Uh, I tried my best to keep that promise, and then he said, um, later said that uh, he wanted me to be better than he was. Um, in athletics, I, I've got you. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. But um, as a, Amen. As a parent, I'm, I'm still working to, uh, to, uh, to reach that.